Thank you very much for the introduction and the uh, invitation. I'm going to talk about the experiences about the uh, development of the orientation system for the students' nanosatellite named AstexSat1. Mm -hmm. I will start uh, by telling you the meaning AstexSat1. Uh, this is an acronym. Uh, that means uh, Aztec Technology SAT, Aztec SAT 1. The conversation is uh, designed in, uh, for topics which uh, show uh, small advances in development of cosmical, um, cosmonautical engineering at uh, our university. Uh, I'm going to uh, begin with a uh, Introduction, Nanobet, AstexSat1, and uh, maybe um, our uh, uh, last uh, project uh, is a uh, jet assembly, but maybe. Okay, let's begin with introduction. Uh, let me tell you about the history of UNICEF Mexico activities at the State University of Chihuahua. Uh, we started with uh, some courses to ensemble CATSAT model, like you see uh, with the, the people that uh, they are uh, making this uh, CANSAT uh, as a complementary activity to the subject of the satellite engineering and orbital mechanic by building uh, this model as a simulator to of the uh, integration of the different sub subsystems that make up a nanosatellite. The student began to participate in some UNICEF well, well. event. Okay. Yeah, uh, please continue. Okay. Specifically in the CANSAT contest. In the second, uh, the aerospace cluster is um, associate of companies working together to. Uh, Hence, to growth of the aerospace industry within the city of Chihuahua. In, in Mexico, there are eight OEMs installed in the aerospace industry, and uh, five of them are uh, located in Chihuahua, including uh, Textron Aviation, Bell, Honeywell, Embraer and Bombardier. Chihuahua Space Cluster works under the triple helix model in the which there is a alignment between all the effort of the government and academia with the vision outlined by the industry, which is made up of the companies in the sector the participation of the government and the education institution of the NT. In this sense, um, five uh, innovation and technology centers registered in Chihuahua, more than nine universities with engineering programs related to the cosmonautic industry and more than 45 uh, com manufacturing operation and business units. The capability in the cosmonautic industry in Chihuahua are air structures, um, machining, harness, and interiors. composite materials, aeroparts and shield metal, thermal and superficial thermal. 
and the other um, picture uh, in Chihuahua uh, are uh, Honeywell, Bombardier, Bell, all this, all this uh, factory. Okay, uh, three of most relevant projects in uh, our university are uh, laboratory, laboratory implementation of satellite subsystems, Aztec Sat1 and satellite guide, guidance systems, assembly of jet uh, type and aircraft. This is in process. And uh, now I'm going to talk about the NanoWeb. This is a very important uh, project for us because uh, this uh, flat uh, was the first in Mexico and for, for us was very, very important. Mm, the NanoWeb is the is a test table called the flat set that allowed us to manipulate different satellite subsystems of the CubeSat type. Um, in this illustration, we can see a model with uh, three units. This assembly nanobed has all its subsystem easily accessible. System design tool and a process to enable rapid generation of mission design points. Demonstration of uh, emerging low cost technologies as novel mission or enabling technologies. <clears throat> uh, the NanoWet setup allow us to access and test um, by everything in a, a simple way compared to a normal satellite where everything ends up tightly integrated and uh, packed together, especially in the case of mini atelier CubeSat. Uh, we can also try out new approach for uh, opening submission and test the interoperability of uh, various commercial CubeSat components. Uh, in this part of the test table that is in the ensemble process, there is the slot for the battery on board computer and transceiver. In this part two, uh, battery, uh, OSC, and transceiver. Okay, this is a simulator um, program for the simulator of uh, satellite position and subsystem subsystems position with uh, the structure. With the NanoVet, uh, we have um, a very fast integration, uh, demonstration and characterization of uh, platform payloads, system design tools, and uh, process to enable rapid generation of mission design points, uh, demonstration of uh, emerging low cost, 
technologies as novel mission or enabling technologies, experimented uh, exhibition, support uh, life and uh, current CubeSat development philosophy, uh, system uh, placement operation, etc. Okay, what happened with the Aztec sat? <clears throat> um, this tool for us uh, was very uh, important for the ensemble. Um, CubeSat class, uh, nanosatellite, managed uh, and uh, implemented by an interdisciplinary team of engineers, students, and other areas of the UPAEP and WATCH. Okay, here is very interesting because <clears throat> NASA has a series of uh, requirement that increase the su success rate of project, call it uh, NASA processes and requirements, NPR. <clears throat> this NPR establish a core set of common agency level technical processes and requirement need to define, develop, realize, realize and uh, integrate the quality of the systems, products created and uh, acquired by uh, or for NASA. The process described in this document will open and apply best practic uh, practices and lessons learned for NASA, other government agencies and industry to clearly align it a successful model to cooperate uh, comprehensive technical work, reduce program and technical risk, and uh, improve mission success. The set of common process in the uh, NPR may be uh, supplemented and uh, tailored to the uh, activated uh, specific project requirements. Um, Um, we have a, a, a lot of uh, review, but uh, I'm going to um, talk about uh, SRR. El, the, SS, the SRR examines the functional and performance requirement def defined for the system and the preliminary program or project plan and ensure that the requirement and the select concept will satisfy the mission. We have a, a very, uh, um, some phases. Uh, in the first uh, time, the, when uh, um, we see SRR is in the phase uh, A. <coughs> And in this picture, um, uh, we approval of the NASA SRR system requirement review and we uh, inauguration of the clean room laboratory este, with, with NASA in UPAEP. Uh, in this picture, um, we uh, simulation, we are simulation platform demonstration. Basically, uh, the mission of Aztecsat was communication with the global star constellation. And Aztecsat was launched on December 5, 2019. And the project uh, schedule uh, was uh, Begin uh, 217 and ended in 219. We have uh, experience about empty atmosphere, space radiation, uh, microgravity. Okay. <clears throat> 
por end uh, participate in the development of science and technology in Mexico, create personalized profile in human resources to improve the quality of the process or technological development, development of uh, companies, test methodologic process for uh, technological development for the aerospace industries or related areas to have products certifi certified in flight. And for end, um, I'm going to show you uh, a video. It's very interesting for, for us, for our university. Uh, Dr. Hermes, uh, is there audio for the video? Aztec Sat 1 from the International yeah, Space Station. Thank you. This has been an amazing collaboration. I want to particularly congratulate the students and mentors from UPIEP and the support they received from University of Chihuahua, as well as, of course, the support and sponsorship from the Mexican Space Agency. As I mentioned earlier, it's been an amazing collaboration the passion, the work ethic that we saw from the students and the mentors was inspiring to us. And as I understand it, the mission was already considered a full success. Within 15 minutes after deployment from the International Space Station, the signals were being received uh, by Global Star, and we are really happy with the results. So this has, again, been an amazing journey, and we are really looking forward to future opportunities for collaboration between NASA Ames and Mexico as we move forward in space exploration. Again, thank you and congratulations. Thank you.